Hello and welcome to Only Ants VIK. Today I will be unveiling the newest insect to the ants underground kingdom, the gladiator mantis. This insect is available from the ants party event for now, this one here, and it's classified as a combat universal and shooter synergy insect. So what that means is when the troop contains a shooter squad, the normal attack crit rate is plus 5%. When leading any soldier ants, the chance of triggering frenzy attack is plus 50%. And what that is described as is during the battle, the skill damage of all our squads plus 20%. After the backline releases a, skill, a damage skill, there is a chance to release the skill again. This effect can be triggered at most once per round. Now, hopefully that's 50%, but I believe it's probably more likely to be like the Lathy Sniffer skill release um, percentage, which is 30. And it has a talent of energy conversion. Every time all our squads release the skill five times, increases the damage of all our squads by 6.4% and reduces the damage taken by 6.4%. The effects can be stacked up to five layers. All right, so that is the maximum percentage after eight talent points are invested into it. So it will progressively get stronger and the troops are gonna need to release 25 skills to achieve the maximum benefit of that talent. And also this um, release, if you get one Gladiator Mantis during the event, you're going to get uh, 10 Star Interverse, 500 Ascent Shells and 15,000 Exotic uh, Fodder. So we'll claim that now. Beautiful. So what we need to do with this guy is um, do a Star Conversion and stuff with our Rainbow Scarab. So we will revert his level so we can get all the materials back there and that's going to take 30 of 30 reversion mushrooms we'll go ahead and do that yes please claim all them and more functions we're going to go and start conversion and get our mantis up to 11 stars confirm that please all right, beautiful, there we go. Even though I like the Rainbow Scarab very much, I will be looking to improve its star level maybe on Sunday when Insect Day rolls around again. All right, so at 11 stars, we can now have a look at all the information. So we'll start here. That's the troop contains a shooter squad. Normal crit rate is the 5%. All soldier ants attack, ants defense at 65%, march speed 70%, combat speed is 140. So these new insects have got 140 combat speed straight away. They don't have to invest talent points to improve that. The triggering the frenzy effect, that's the 50%. Discussed that just before. And as a helper, that's going to be 25%. The soldier ant's health is at 40%. The special ant skill attack is 90, which is a little bit higher than the scarab, but the skill defense is 65, which is 5% less. Invasion attack 40, invasion defense 40, and all soldier ants damage is 30%. Beautiful. So what we'll try and do now is get him leveled up. And we'll put some talents on it. Hopefully I can do all this. Because we got all of them back from the scarab. Yep. Yep. And as we do this, we'll get more and more talent points that we can invest. Hopefully it gets to the same level as before. Oh, 
21. So every five levels you have to put these shells in or an insect. Try and get this done as quick as possible for you. Where are we up to? 36. And we can't do that. Alright. Right on. So we're going to our insect talents now. And we'll start off here. We've got Omnipotent or the Rage. Basic, we probably definitely won't be going there. We're going to look at getting the energy conversion straight up. So we'll put two in the Blitherness. Yep. Something's happened. Duplicate. Upgrade of insect talents. Alright, maybe it's had a little bit of a hiccup. I'll try again. There we go. We'll just race. Insect, hopefully this goes smoothly. Alright, back to the health boost. We'll get that and we've got the energy conversion. And if we get this up to level 8, we can see that that's the 6.4% damage and 6.4% reduced damage. We'll get to here. We'll get this skill damage improved. Beautiful. And more health. We want to aim for health and attack with these talents. And that's going to help us the most for PvP, in my opinion. We have to extra control resistance. More health, here we go. We'll love the health. Load it up. We'll come down to the Omnipotent. Get both attack and defense there. And this one here, we get extra health. Beautiful. And we're going to be aiming for this no doubt here, Vicious Acid, that's skill, skill attack. Keep loading it up, well, we've got 21 points left. So this is the first one that we're going to test drive, we'll, we'll give a couple of them a, a go. The Rainbow Scarab was really good for the Dolly Weaver and Berserker setup, had lots of normal attack bonuses. This one here seems to have a little bit less. There's a health node here that I'd like to get, but I've only got eight left. We'll put it in for a bit more skill damage here. And two. We'll try and get towards this guy up here in readiness, because he's got the same picture as the Rage. I like that. And that's how I'm going to set up the talents on this guy for now so i hope you like this video and stay tuned i'll try and make some more for you in the in the future and that's the gladiator mantis thank you